Hi there. Um, it's always difficult sometimes to uh, try to find the uh, the writer's voice, and uh, you know, also at times to try to see uh, the most often asked questions, such as um, where do you come up with some of your stories? And I figured I wanted to go ahead and take advantage of that and uh, answer at least the uh, second one for uh, starters. So. Uh, as you can tell by the uh, opening piece here, uh, my library is quite extensive. I will be the first one to admit that I am an extreme bibliophile. I normally read at least four books a month, all of uh, mixed genres and varying subjects, uh, just to uh, keep the interest flowing and also just to see uh, what in particular uh, could possibly be uh, adapted into either a short story or a, a script. And of course, uh, it's also opened up a few other uh, creative opportunities along the line as well too. I mean, besides the most important one, which is meeting other authors and other creative individuals. Um, but going back to my own works, uh, what does this mean for you, the audience? Well, that's, that's actually very simple. With my background and love for history, literature, and mythology, uh, this means that, for example, in the creation of my epic fantasy series, The Chronicles of the Dragon Spain, not only were there visual material on hand to help in developing the story, but also that meant that with my experience in practicing swordsmanship, I made it a point of study and reference to go ahead and enhance each of the battle sequences to make them as logistically real as possible, including even studying uh, ancient tactics and strategies of the uh, famous empires, but of course adapting it into a fantasy context with uh, dragons, minotaurs, and other creatures of legend. Over the years, uh, I've been called a lot of uh, different titles, um, eccentric, odd fellow, the weird one. Um, others have actually dumped me with a very, very appropriate title that I actually do uh, hold with high esteem as it's one of my other favorite uh, TV and comic strip characters and that's uh, this gentleman right here, um, Gomez Adams. So, just like the Adams family, um, you know, my house is literally a virtual museum. You gotta go through and take a little walk through certain areas, and there's all random bits of goodies, tidbits, relics, nestled in between all the other books of my library. Uh, each one a facet of my own interest, each, you know, sometimes having its own backstory and its own story tied to a project that I'm working on. And, you know, that's just uh, one of the fun little uh, things that uh, kind of makes me who I am. And, you know, of course makes a lot of uh, bookstore and uh, antique shop owners uh, equally just as happy as well. <laughs> even, uh, even before attempting doing anything in the way of uh, script writing or uh, film work, I've always worked from the uh, visual approach for the audience. And I'll openly admit as well too, which is, uh, you know, which makes for a fun little laugh to some people if they're not familiar with the uh, creative uh, mind or the, you know, the, the, the way that we creative individuals work. Um, for certain books and films, um, I do actually uh, look at it from the, uh, from the cinematic approach. And so that being said, you will at times find me uh, scouring the uh, aisles, the toy section of uh, some of the stores, or even some of the vintage toys from, uh, of, from my own childhood, in order to help storyboard a scene and put a scene together before writing about it for the chapter. So. You see me walking the aisles or something along those lines, just uh, 
Don't worry, that means there's an idea in progress. And so that's why at this point I want to invite all of you to uh, be sure to uh, follow my uh, great adventures. Uh, be sure to visit my portfolio. I'll put the link up here on the screen for you. And it's uh, very much so self-explanatory. Uh, you're going to see uh, the, the works of myself, my research on the Titanic, my projects uh, within the Dragon's Bane series, my epic fantasy novel, as well as a few uh, interactive games, updates, tidbits, and uh, a few random pieces of trivia. Also be sure to follow me on my YouTube channel, uh, named after uh, one of my very favorite characters from Star Wars, Tessic. That's right, one of the lesser known five second characters from Return of the Jedi, but whose backstory in both the comic books and also the book form um, make for a very indi interesting individual and not to mention of course my love for um, creatures of the sea and being looking like a squid uh, it was a natural affiliation and connection for me right off the bat so uh, of course that particular channel you don't always expect to see anything in terms of writing all the time or things of that nature because you will find a few other random goodies in between, uh, side projects, um, attempts at uh, voiceover comedy, parody videos, and my late night hobby when I'm not reading, or uh, also when uh, all the ideas have uh, kind of festered out for a bit, uh, you'll find a few uploads of me just tinkering on the PlayStation and uh, just relaxing. But if you're a gamer, consider it an opportunity to have uh, tips on how to uh, get through certain points on this on each individual title. But in any event, if you do decide to go that route, definitely be sure to like and subscribe because you never know when there's going to be a new idea that's going to pop up that uh, just might come into play. So, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, spending some time with me. And now it's time for me to go back to the writing. <laughs>